morning everyone and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm your host, Andrea Hawk. So welcome everyone in the chat. Hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. So this is the XD Daily Creative Challenge. Um, I will be host for the rest of the week and welcome everyone. So we've got Jan, David, Rosie, some familiar faces, Darby, uh, Joshua, hello again, Joshua. You have been doing like every single day of the daily challenge, so good on you. All right, guys, welcome. Let's go ahead and hop on over into our behance.net slash challenge slash XD, and we can go ahead and see what today's challenge is. So if you don't already know what the daily creative challenge is, go ahead and register with this big blue button up here. It's really just a chance for you to um, learn something new, make something for your portfolio, and get feedback from myself and the rest of our community. So uh, each day you'll receive a challenge. Be sure to join our community chat on Discord. I'll hop on there in just a second, um, but first let's scroll down and see what today's challenge is. So look at all these that we've already completed. You guys have been doing awesome posting on Discord and Behance, so thank you so much for sharing those. Um, today, we're gonna be focusing on the hover effect. So what I want you guys to do is design a desktop widget that reminds users to rest their eyes. So we don't normally do desktop widgets. I don't think, I think I've done like two of them in my whole career of hosting the daily creative challenges. So I thought we'd do something a little different. Um, if you want to, you can allow users to select some custom intervals, maybe every like 10, 20 minutes and hover over their menu bar to view a countdown. So if you want to, you can hit that get started button to get that uh, starter file. Just hit download, direct download and then you'll get a file that looks a little something like this. Just a starter file. Um, it'll tell you what the challenge prompt is, the, some inspiration, stuff like that. And of course, let's hop on into Discord and see what's going on over there. So you can either join Discord by selecting this button, and that will ask if you want to um, sign up, or I've got the link right up here. So this is the Discord link bit.ly slash xd discord if you're not already a member so that is where you can find it let's hop on over in there and just to highlight um, a few of the important channels so we've got the creative challenge channel up here this is where we um, will tell you when we're streaming and what the new prompts are for each day and if you have any work that you want to get feedback on or just share, just let us know what you're working on. So we have some different, a whole lot of different uh, channels for feedback. So just make sure you're posting in the right one. I know lately we've uh, had some people posting in the wrong channels. So yeah, you guys have been doing an awesome job. I'm excited to look at some of these towards the end of the stream. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so just explore around, ask a question. You can post in there if you're not sure about something. Introductions, be sure to introduce yourself in there. And yeah, that is a bit about Discord. So let's go ahead and hop on into our starter file. All right, welcome, welcome everyone who's just joining. Wow, a lot of you guys today. Oh, Alberto said, I was sad again on President's Day. Um, for now, yeah, Adobe Live. We didn't have the first challenge last Monday because we are off, but today's Monday. Yes, we are doing a challenge. So this is what the uh, get started little file will look like when you download it. So our challenge prompt for today, like I mentioned, we're gonna be focusing in this area. So this is the component panel right up here. Right now it's grayed out because we don't have anything selected, obviously. But once we start designing and um, getting some components, then this will pop up. So I'll show you all about that. So we're gonna focus on hover and an eye timer. I actually have like extreme dry eye. <laughs> like normal is 100 apparently, and my eyes are like at 340 and 320. So yeah, extreme dry eye from staring at a screen all day probably. <laughs> but also I got LASIK, so it's probably more that. Anyway, so here's some inspiration. Um, a lot of them look pretty simple. I mean, we want it to be pretty simple because we don't want it to be too in our face when we're doing other stuff. So keep it minimal. Um, you could do something as simple as this. 
just with a little icon in your top menu bar. Um, yeah, add some settings. This one I really like. This isn't necessarily like an eye notification timer app, but it blocks the blue light at certain times of the day. So this is called F.Lux. I have it turned off right now so the screen doesn't look kind of orange to you guys. But during the day, you want to get more blue light so it looks uh, more realistic. And then at night, you want to get more orange light so your eyes aren't as just agitated. Um, so that's why they have like those blue light glasses that you can wear while you're working. So it's kind of a little easier on your eyes. Um, yeah, so feel free to explore this little resource booklet. Just hop through some of those pages and the component panel. And be sure to share your work on Behance and Discord when you're done. Or if you're in the middle of it, if you just want to share some work in progress work, that's uh, great too. Um, but Behance, be sure to share with that keyword XD Daily Challenge. Okay, let's hop into it. So I've got this uh, 1920 by 1080 artboard already started, and we're actually only gonna work on this one artboard today since we're doing components. You can add a lot of different components within just one artboard. So it's really cool, I'll show you how to do it. Got some assets already ready down here. Um, yeah, welcome guys in the chat. Anna, Oma. Oh, Oma says uh, she or he, she has the same app. Uh, F.Lux, I think. Yeah, it's great. I rec highly recommend it if you want to download. Okay, so I just want to add this little icon, eye icon, <laughs> up here in our uh, menu bar. So we want it to look pretty similar to these. You really don't want the menu icons to have too much color because we want to reserve the colors for notifications. Um, so we don't want to really draw too much attention while we're focusing on everything else. So just add that up there. I'm gonna add the widget uh, background. So again, this is just like a little rectangle and then a little uh, sort of nub just made with the pen tool right there. And what I wanna do actually, yeah, let's go ahead and make this one first. Okay. So I wanna keep it simple, just like a settings icon, a close icon, and then the timer. So this um, is what I want to appear when we hover over this little eye icon. So just very minimal. I don't wanna show all the settings and everything, just the timer. So let's go ahead and make that. I just wanna have like a circle and show a visual representation of like how much time um, that we have left until our next break for when you should like blink your eyes or you know look far away or something. Generally the good rule of thumb is 20-20-20, which is like every 20 minutes you take 20 seconds and you look at something 20 feet away. So that might help you remember <laughs> if you do not have an app like this. Okay, so let's just make something like this. Um, okay, we'll bring this back. And I actually want to mask this. Maybe we can bring this up a bit. Okay, that looks better. So group these two. Command G to group. And I can make those a little bit smaller. And then let's add the timer. Now, we, of course, already made a timer on Friday during that challenge, so I'm not going to make another one. Um, this one will just be static, but if you want to go back and watch that, feel free to do that. It's a really fun one, so I do recommend if you missed Fridays, um, that's a good one to watch. It was like slot machine style um, numbers that scroll vertically, so that was a fun one. And then I'll just say something like time remaining below that. So super straightforward. This is really all I'm gonna have on this hover portion of the widget. Okay, so now actually let's go ahead and group all of these together. Okay, so Command G to group. Make sure everything's connected, it is. Great. Now what I wanna do is I want to make this eye icon a component. So if you've never used components, they're very easy. All we do is go over here 
And right now you'll see it's grayed out because we don't have any components, um, but, or this one is not a component. So press that plus icon. So now you'll see we're in the default state of this component. It's the master component. And you also know it's the master component because um, this little green triangle, it's super hard to see, but promise there's a green triangle or a little green diamond right there. And that means that it's the master. If it's just an instance, it will not be filled in. Okay, so now we have just the default state. Now we wanna create another state. So let's add a hover state. All we do is again, just press that plus icon and press hover. So you can rename this whatever else you want. I'm just gonna keep it at hover, so I'll press enter. Now we've got two different states. And when I click on each of these, that icon looks like it's staying the same um, because we haven't changed anything within it. So the main thing you need to know about components is you just need to double click within the group in order to add something new. So I'll show you how that works. So in the hover state, I wanna add this widget just when I kind of hover over it. So I'll do Command X to cut, and then I wanna double click on this. So right now you know I'm inside the actual group, and then I wanna paste the widget. So now this is all one group. So you'll see the little green uh, sort of border that we had around just the eye icon is now around both of them. So the whole thing is now a component. And we can add as many different states as we want. We can add like pressed, um, uh, focus, um, just whatever you want. So when we go back to default, there's nothing there when we hover. We now have the widget. So let's go ahead and preview this. And we actually don't have to prototype this. When I hop into the prototype tab, um, this is already, since it already says hover, the uh, trigger is already automatically set to hover. So we don't need to do anything there. So let's go ahead and press our play button and we'll preview this. So I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard, just hovering over. So you'll see that appears automatically. So you can imagine you can do a lot of cool things with component states. Um, for instance, let's go back here. So, you know, I mentioned master components and in, uh, instances of components. So for instance, let's say I have like 40 different artboards and um, I wanna update this eye icon to be like blue or something instead of black. So that would take a long time if I wanted to do that individually. But what's cool with components, so if I just copy and paste this, or you can uh, drag one from your components panel over here, this is where all of your components will appear. Um, so it's the same thing. You'll notice that this one now, like I mentioned, the little uh, diamond right here is not filled in green. And right here it says instance. So if I change anything, like let's say I'll make this like purple or pink or whatever, this master component was not affected. So yeah, this is still the same. And this still has that hover state, but our default state is pink. So instances, if you change them, it only changed that one instance, but masters, if you change those, it will change the rest of them. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you guys have any questions <laughs> in the chat, I'll be checking that. Okay, now let's go ahead and add um, another state. Maybe let's add a press state. So let's go back to our component, press the plus icon, and we'll say pressed, pressed state. Okay, so now we have another state. Um, what I wanna do actually is just copy this whole component and let's go into our press state. And again, to add something into the state, you have to double click so you're within the group and then Command V to paste. And what I'm gonna do is just um, start deleting some of these things because I wanna just add like settings or something. So we can say like general and like account settings. Oops, it's on all caps. And then we can even make this um, a little bigger if we want to and add as many other elements as we want. So let's say just a little line below to indicate that, let's see, 
um, that we are selecting the general tab. Can bring this down. And then we can add some settings like um, enable sound notifications or like auto adjust. If we want to do that color thing that I mentioned, auto adjust for safe colors. So maybe the colors change to orange or like an orange or tint during certain times of the day. And I want to add like some check marks for those. So just make sure you're in the group. So we can add this here, copy and paste that to add another check mark. Oops. Okay, I don't think these are actually within the group. I need to make sure I'm double clicking. There we go. And let's set a timer. So we can say like every 20 minutes, and this is not in the group either. Sometimes it's hard to tell which, which layer you're in. Okay. So let's say timer set for every like 20 minutes. Move this over a bit. Minutes, mins or minutes. Okay. Okay, so that looks good. We could add some more colors or something if we wanted as well. So instead of like the purple, they could change it to pink or blue or whatever. So I'm just using my repeat grid here to add some circles and getting rid of that border. And then I'm gonna ungroup these just so I can change the color pretty easily. So I can add some colors to all of these. And let's say like this purple one is selected. So let's just add a little um, border around that. That is not centered at all. <laughs> okay. Maybe like this, this color. Bring the opacity down a little bit. Okay. So let's say that's our settings. We need a little bit more space there. Okay, so now let's just review the different states we have in this component. Again, we only have one artboard, so you don't need to go and make a whole bunch of different artboards if you're making a component. So we've got the default state, which is just the eyeball resting up there, nothing's happening. We've got the hover state, where we see our widget and we'll see the time that's elapsed or that we have left. And then the press state is when we actually have the settings and we've actually pressed it. So now we need to go over into our prototype tab and make sure that we can get from the default state to the press state. So what I wanna do is add another interaction. You can either add it right here by tapping that little plus, or you can just tap this little uh, plus icon right here. And we want the trigger to be tap since we're going into the press state and the action will just be a normal transition. We don't need to auto animate or anything and then the destination will be our press state. So see, we have a bunch of artboards down here, but we also have the press state. Um, and no easing, no duration. So let's go ahead and preview that. So we've got our hover. So you'll see the default state is just the eye right there. We've got the hover state, and then we've got the press state, which is our settings. So that is, um, that's a little bit about components. Very simple. I also, just because I am um, a little crazy, I went ahead and uh, like built out the rest of this app. So I'll just show you what that could look like. So I added some fun little eyeballs like rolling around if you want to look up and down. So this is just like kind of eye exercises. So every 20 minutes, this is these are things that you would do to help exercise your eyes. So focusing your eyes near and far. So if you wanna go the extra mile and add a little animation like that, you're certainly welcome to. Um, but really just focus on the components and that hover state today. So let's go ahead and Command S to save. Awesome, and if you want to export, as always, you can uh, preview and make a little MP4 um, movie file of this, and then it will save it wherever you want. 
um, I already uploaded it, so I'm not gonna save it. Or you can go up here to file, export, batch, or selected. So let's hop on into Behance. Behance. Okay, so I've already got this project started. And the main thing you wanna remember when you are uploading your project is to go over into the settings panel. Um, we've got these tabs up here. So basic info, just add some creative fields and such, but just make sure you go into that discoverability tab and add, this is the main keyword, XD daily challenge, so that I can search for your work and give you feedback if you'd like it. So make sure you add, you know, a little description up here. Um, I've got each of the days um, and a little description for each day. And then this is the prototype that I exported from XD and uploaded here. So if you wanna do something like that, you are welcome to. So let's save that. And now I'm gonna look at some of you guys' work on Behance. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's refresh this. See if there's anything new. Okay, so I'm just searching XD Daily Challenge and I'm sorting by most recent. So I've got some already pulled up. You guys have been working hard. Lots of these, this challenge. So thank you so much for everyone for sharing your work um, on Discord too. I'm checking on Discord. So this one was the challenge from Friday, last Friday. This is by Kartik. And what was it? It was the, oh, this was the slider, the number slider. And we used auto animate for that. So he created a career advice application with auto animate for the sliding. Ooh, you've got a prototype. Let's look at this and play it. So career app. Awesome, so start. Got a little bit of new newo or new morphism there. I like that <laughs> with the like shadows right here and the sliders. And I see you've got the uh, slider, the dragging slider, and you've got the auto animate with the uh, numbers scrolling. So nice job on that. That was very smooth. Looks great, we got the results. Awesome, thank you so much for sharing that. That looks great, really no feedback there. I think that looks awesome. So thank you Kartik if you're watching. Let's see, we've got a few more. So this one's by Joshua. Again, Joshua's been doing it like every single day, so props to you. So this is his um, color palette. I like the lime green. I feel like you don't see the lime green too often anymore, so I like the variety and you even showed all of your artboards, so nice. Okay, let's look at this prototype full screen. See what we got. So add a new salary and tell us about your job. So this was like the anonymously adding um, your income or asking about income for designers. Slide, I, nice slider there, I actually kind of missed that. Let's see the numbers. So filling out some info there, we've got the slider. Nice job. Numbers look great. Great on the animation. And a little confirmation. I, I like your confirmation page. I actually didn't add that on mine, so good idea there. Nice, good job, Joshua. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's see, we've got maybe time for just one more. Okay, so this one is by Anne. Thank you, Anne. Very clean, I love that, and minimal looking. Okay, ooh, this is fast. So we've got our list of jobs, salary estimate, and okay, looks like we had a little bit of trouble with the um, auto animate there. I'm thinking that the reason your numbers are doing that is the layers aren't named the same when you go from artboard to artboard, so I would just check your layer names. Um, other than that, it looks great. Um, you got the, the drag slider there and everything. So thank you so much for sharing, you guys. Um, okay, so that is about all the time that I have left for today. I'll be checking on Discord, so make sure you share on there too. Thank you everyone in the chat for joining. And I'll be back here again tomorrow at 11.30 Pacific time. And stay tuned, in about five minutes, we have our two-hour XD, XD live stream with Liz Wells. So thanks guys for joining. Have a great day. Bye.